Uh, where are we? Right. So he is a brilliant communicator and he actually started looking at the structure of the trees. And he calls it, and it's brilliant, the body language of trees. And I just happened to walk across there and I looked up and I saw that crease. Mm. So he could stand here and tell you about that crease. Mm. Now, um, we probably have to move down to that tree to see, but you can, oh, you can see it on this one. What he says is that <clears throat> this is a limb that's trying to come down, yeah? yeah is, and yeah. if you look, look at the bark underneath. It's quite rough bark. Yeah. Look at the bark on top of the lead trip thing and it's smooth. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at the big muscle of the male, you see. The male has the big muscle, not me, mine's a bit flabby, but if you look at it, this is called compression bark or wood, and that's tension. And the old people, when they made the long bows, knew about that. So they didn't cut long bows out of poles like that, they cut them out of quite big bits of wood, and they tried to get some of the living heartwood in the tree to get the tension and compression wood. And I still believe that a lot of these big houses, when they built them, they knew that a limb that grew out like that could support much more weight than a vertical tree. Because a tree that's grown vertical wasn't actually grown to support weight, was it? We did yeah. that with it. Yeah. That, that is what it wanted. So I bet you, if you were to go through all these old buildings, the big supporting limbs are all horizontal. Which again goes back to this business that Britain and Europe had masses of open grown trees. Mm. It wasn't all woodland, and this is what this transfer is on about. It was this sort of landscape with these great big limbs. Yes. And often they didn't want the whole tree. So you came and you took what you wanted. But can you see that limb? It shows you. Yeah. Yeah. But this, <laughs> this crease here, that one, is actually where it's coming down. Mm. You know, it's oh, now yeah. starting to settle down, isn't it? Yeah, yeah? you can see it. So you can start even you can start to read it. It's so simple, and he puts this all. He doesn't give you fantastic uh, mathematical calculations. He gives you simple cartoons. Do you like that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can you just point out what you mean by that coming downwards? Because I think I was thinking you meant that vertical, uh, vertical uh, mark in the trunk. And actually, what you mean is that ripple effect underneath this, this. bough, yeah. which is ripping.